let's see how we can install Python packages on Windows 11 or Windows 10. This is the same process. Now to install Python packages, you will need pip. So first, let's check if you have pip installed or not. To check that, you can just type Python um, pip version. I forgot the dash here. So as you can see, my Python is rated 3.12. Now, if you don't have pip installed, you will see a message like this: "No module named pip." So I just typed wrong name here because I wanted to show you this message. If you have pip installed, this is how you can install packages. If you don't have pip installed, you will see how we can install pip. So if you already have pip installed, you can just go pip install. Let's say we want to install pandas and then hit enter. As you can see, it is fetching pandas and it is downloading all the required dependencies for pandas. As you can see, it is showing the message successfully installed. And this is how you can install using pip. Now, if pip is not in your Python path, what you can do is you can do Python. Sorry, if pip is not in your environment variable path, what you can do is by pip, Python m pip install pandas. So this is how you can install packages if pip is not in your path. And if pip is not installed, let's see how we can install pip. First, press your Windows button and type cmd. This will open command prompt. Let's see what Python version do we have. So as you can see, we have Python 3.10.0. Now, if I type pip help, you will see that pip is not recognized. Now, let's install pip. First, you need to run this command. I will have this in the description below. You can copy it from there. Now, this will download this file, get pip.py. Once this is complete, you just run this file using Python. And now the pip installation will start. So once pip is installed, now if you try to do this, you will again get an error as we have not added pip into environment variable. Let's see how we can do that. But before adding the path to environment variable, you need to know which path to add. So as you can see, it is showing that pip is installed in this directory. Let's copy it and type environment in your start menu click on this environment variables you need to select path from system variables not this variable if you add this for this user it will be only accessible by the currently logged in user if you add it here it will be available to all the users so you can just select path in the system variables and click on edit first and then here click on new and paste what you had currently copied from here this path so you've added here just click ok click ok again click ok again to close this dialog exit from your command prompt open it again now type pip dash dash version now as you can see pip is running from here now you can install your packages using pip 